the question is, why would a government end statism or a claim of land not chartered to them, but just a claim where they have certain privileges? Well, that's a very complex thing. You gotta think outside the box. First advantage of government is that your future is basically sealed. Once you run for government, yeah, it's very stressful, and I see a lot of people really get fucked up when they age. Even Obama, he looks nowhere the same as he did back in 2008. It's very stressful. Not everyone in the government's corrupt. However, your future is basically sealed. Governments have great pensions. You work for a few years, and you're basically set. It's kind of like how with school teachers. School teachers, yeah, they have to work a lot. They're put under stress. They eventually become assholes. They, they start off nice people who really like kids, but then be, at the end of it, they hate kids, and they have a, such a bitter outlook on life. Yeah, for jobs like that, the pension is great. The pension is magnificent. Best pension in the fucking world. Um, so their future is basically sealed that way. For government, not only do they have that, but they have the opportunity to make a lot of money with a job some corporation hands them after their terms are completed. So really, especially if you have kids, a lot comes with being part of the government now. Where back then, um, before the Republic of the United States, you could say that with a mo more monocratic form of government, it was basically you were looking after your home. The kings were basically out trying to keep their home keep their palace, where they sleep, live in and sleep in. And, yeah, it's always basically them looking out for their own future. Yeah, there's a few fucked up ones, narcissistic, psychopathic, histrionics, um, phlegmatic individuals that run for office. But it's really their future that they're looking out for. And part of the reason I think that ending statism would be a great thing was probably be that, yeah, they can probably have government still enable them to have that future, to have all those little advantages, a great pension, certainty that their future will have less risks. But they also will have less stress when... If anything they work with is not something that they claim, but they can charter to something else, to a charter to a different sector, to different ownerships, rather than giving a land claim to an entire nation. A lot of stress is reduced. Taxation. Taxation. Politicians every year promise to make taxation that much more simple. Because when you're handling rhetoric, even politicians that are letting the corporations do all the work, they have to do a lot of wordplay to make sure that their future stays. Even if politicians have no power and it's the corporations that run the world, they still have a lot of responsibilities, which is saying the smart things to keep their future, their pension, their future career in check. And if things are very inconvenient for them, that makes their job that much more difficult. Another thing is that when the Commonwealth ends, subsidies have to end as well. So corporations must do things the old school way, 
with the shareholders and the board of directors, CEOs, and investors in general. Transactions as well. A lot of transactions, well, this is obvious, have to come into account. So they really can't depend on a shareholder to keep them in line in case they fuck up. If they fuck up, and they have to file for bankruptcy. And people still do this. I'm not saying that nobody goes bankrupt and files Chapter 11 anymore. I know that companies get bankrupt every year. Kodak is a great example. I think a certain encyclopedia got bankrupt as well. KB Toys a few years ago became bankrupt. So, and when that happens, they might sell out all their assets and become a subsidiary of some other company or corporation. So, it's not pretty, but it's definitely a lot more convenient than having to basically kill yourself to ensure that your future will be a lot more simple. To, for me... I'm not going to be the kind of guy that will bust his ass and end his life to make sure that his future will be easy. To me, I believe that consistent work would pay off and that I shouldn't be stressed to the point of aging myself. That seems a little too extreme for me. But other than that, um, those are just some of my ideas. This is more of a ramble. Um, yeah.